Okay, to perform the spinal wave, you'll stay balanced over your midfoot with a hip width stance. So you can soften your knees slightly. This is from the spine, not the shoulders. Okay, so we start by reaching forward with the nose as if to touch an imaginary wall in front of us. And then the chin reaches forward. And then the upper chest reaches forward with the head coming back. Then the top of the ribs reach forward. Then the belly reaches forward. You can see how the rest of my body is moving back. There's only one point of contact on this wall. And then the hips move forward, squeezing my bum. And then I round my body to reach forward with my neck again. So we end up with this waving motion that can gradually become a little bit more fluid and we can start to work on the back body as well, rounding the back body as we come forward. But you start off by just segmenting one piece at a time. And of course, when you lean forward with your nose, in order to stay balanced over your midfoot, something has to go back. When you're pushing forward with your hips, something else has to go back to counterbalance. So we're playing with this counterbalance principle while we're segmentally articulating our spine. The more aware of this movement you get, the smaller the wave can become. It doesn't have to be big. Just helps to do a big wave when you're learning. When we're doing the back of the body, we'll push the hips back slightly to start with. Again, imagining it as a wall behind us. Start with the bum, and then we tuck the tailbone under to roll onto the lower back and bring the bum away. Then we roll to the mid back, bring everything else away, and then up to the upper back, eventually to the top of the head, at which point we release and go back to the bum because there's always one point of contact. So then we have the hip leading wave. So this is hip leading. This is head leading. Have fun.